Okay, so we have a problem here, which is gonna require us to figure out how many of these cube-shaped boxes can we fit inside this larger box shaped like a rectangular prism? Well, let's read the problem so we can figure out what the specifics are for this problem. This problem reads that a box with the dimensions one and one quarter feet by two and three quarters feet by three quarters of a foot was being filled with smaller boxes. Each of the smaller boxes are shaped like a cube. The smaller cube-shaped boxes have the dimensions a quarter foot by a quarter foot by a quarter foot. How many quarter foot by quarter foot by quarter foot cubes can be packed into the larger box? Now, the key to this problem is going to be to figure out how many of these smaller cubes can fit in this direction or this dimension, this dimension, and this dimension. So really, we just have to figure out how many of these boxes can we fit in each one of these three directions and then we can really just multiply those three numbers together. Well to make this problem easier what we're going to do is we're going to start by converting these mixed numbers into improper fractions. One and a quarter is equivalent to five quarters and two and three quarters is equivalent to eleven quarters. And this is going to be very easy in this situation because the edge length of this cube is one quarter. So if I were to double this or put two boxes side by side that would be two quarters and three boxes would be three quarters and so forth. So we just have to stack these boxes in this direction so it equals three quarters and in this direction so it equals eleven quarters and in this direction so it equals five quarters. So let's go ahead and see how many of these cubes can we stack going from left to right in this direction. So if we were to put two of these boxes right next to each other, we would have two quarters. Now we have three quarters, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven quarters. So we can stack eleven of these cubic shaped boxes in this direction, and they would fit nice and snug into the box in this direction right here. Now let's go ahead and determine how many of the cubes we can fit into this length right here, or three quarters of a foot. Well, we already know that we have one cube going in this direction and that edge is equivalent to one quarter of a foot. So we're gonna go ahead and add another cube in that direction, giving us two quarters of a foot or half of a foot. And we're gonna add a third box in that direction, which now gives us a total of three quarters of a foot. So we can fit three boxes nice and snug into this dimension right here. Now at this point we should notice that we have one layer of boxes that could fit nice and snug into the bottom of our larger box. But we still have a lot more space to go before packing the entire rectangular prism. Well let's figure out how many quarter foot by quarter foot by quarter foot cubes we have packed inside the larger box so far. Now we already know that in this direction here we were able to fit 11 boxes next to each other side by side and in this direction we were able to fit 3 boxes side by side. So basically we have 3 rows of 11. So if you multiply 3 times 11 that would give us 33 boxes stacked into the bottom of the larger box so far. Okay let's go ahead and figure out how many of these boxes we can pack into the larger box going upwards. So far we have one layer, so the height of what we have so far is one quarter of a foot. So by adding a second layer, we are now at two quarters of a foot, or half of a foot. Three stacks would be three quarters of a foot, four quarters of a foot, which is exactly a foot high, and one more quarter would give us five quarters, or one and one quarter feet in height. Now at this point we know that we have three boxes stacked in this direction, 11 in this direction, and 5 in this direction. So all we have to do now is take 11 and multiply it by 3 and then multiply that product by 5. So basically these numbers, which if you notice are just the numerators, just tells us how many boxes we were able to stack in each of the three dimensions. And after multiplying all three of these numbers together, we come up with a product of 165 cubes. So we are able to pack inside the larger box 165 cubes, each with an edge length of a quarter foot. 
Now, I drew all of these yellow cubes here to scale just to show that we can fit all of these cubes nice and neatly inside this rectangular prism shaped box. So let's go ahead and move all of these yellow cubes inside the larger box just to show that they fit nice and snug into that box. Now, one thing that we should note about this problem is that the volume is not 165 cubic feet. The problem asks how many cubes with an edge length of a quarter foot on each side could be packed inside the larger box. So 165 does not represent the volume. It just represents how many of the smaller cubes we can fit inside the larger box.